our way outside and we're gonna find out what they have around the corner. Um, but we're in a little bit of a rush because we have to come back then get dressed, do our makeup and then go to the cruise. So today, this evening, we're gonna go for a cruise on the Danube River, then we're gonna go for dinner and then we are gonna be walking around. So yeah, that's the plan, so let's go. I'll let you take the space. Thank you. what it's called but it's really good it's like a chicken schnitzel and salad really really good so we are on our way to the boat tour now we almost like didn't like make it we're in the cab now we're gonna get a train but then we just took too long to get ready so we're in the cab now and we're on our way so yeah it was a bit of a manic rush but we had to get a cab so we're on our way now and I'm really looking forward to it. The lady at reception, she's so lovely. She called the um, cruise people, the boat people, and she told them that we are running behind and they said it's okay. So that's really nice of her. So I'll take you guys along when I get there, I guess. And I guess I'll show you my outfit as well. It's a bit rushed, but I'll show you guys. Earrings from New Look. Right, this is a road that you need to take a picture of. <laughs> the roads here are dangerous. So be careful. We didn't get any audio with our boat tour, so we're just sitting here so enjoying we'll the views. We'll create our, we'll create our, our own, own audio. Yeah. We'll create our own audio without the history and stuff. But we're doing a walk tomorrow, or I think on Saturday. So we'll, you know, we'll learn about the history that way. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I'm gonna try and get shots as well. Oh, wait. Look, yeah. that's a funicular. Is it? That's it. That's it. I also want to actually admire it for myself as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess we're going we're coming the same way back, right? Yeah. 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 We can do, we can just have a look around or whatever. Literally like embankment. Guys, it's so pretty. It's so so pretty. I hope you can hear me. For the restaurant, <laughs> we're in Pest, aren't we? We're in Pest, yeah. Pest is meant to be the more urban, right, aka the funner parts. It's a bit posh here, though. Oh, no, no, no. Rapiano, Rapiano. Where? No way. Rapiano. I detest Rapiano. Any English person or British person that likes Rapiano, Don't you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Wait, is that the will? Oh, yeah, it's like the London Eye. We're laughing at Will under that. Just have a look at the London Eye. Inside? Inside? Yeah? Thank you.
What do you think of the location, guys? It's quite nice, no? Yeah. Even if we sat at our table, we would have been right next to them. So that's a very We are in our hotel room. We are about to go downstairs to have breakfast. Yeah. As you can see, I haven't gotten ready yet, but I'm gonna go and have my breakfast first, then I'll come back and get ready. We are going to the thermal baths today, and then we're gonna be walking around, trying out, um, checking out their shopping malls and other stuff like that, and then we'll come back and get ready for the night time. So, yeah, let's go. This is a bit of an awkward angle, but this is my outfit. You can't really see all of it, maybe you can. So this is what I'm wearing to the baths and to lunch. And I'm just gonna do my makeup quickly. <laughs> than I would normally wear obviously because I go to work every day and it's in a, um, a formal setting so I wouldn't normally wear this but even on the weekends going to church etc etc I wouldn't normally wear this makeup look but I'm taking the advantage because I'm on holiday and the sirens are going <laughs> but yeah like I was saying I'm taking advantage because I'm on holiday and you know oh I'm wearing mostly bright gold colors uh, this holiday pastel colors so I'm taking advantage I got these earrings from new look I believe they were under two pounds but I will be doing like a lookbook video or um, photos on my Instagram about my outfit and prices as well um, so definitely keep tuned for that so my, my mates are still out so I'm basically by myself so I have a chance to kind of speak to you guys and my arm is hurting me because this camera is really heavy <laughs> 
but yeah so what's up y'all um thank you for all my new subscribers actually um i realized i did get a few off of the sabrina claudia video which you know got quite a few views from my channel um yeah it's an interesting one because you know a lot more uh, celebrities or people in the public eye their tweets have come out recently about all of like what they've said and if you look at it there's one common strain all of them are attacking black women like if it was a thing where it's like okay some people were attacking this group or that group none of it's okay but I mean if it came out and they were attacking one group this group this group then it's like okay they were like you know people were just taking the mick out of everyone but it seems a common thread was that they were all attacking one group of people which is us dark-skinned black women or just black women in general and I just find that really <clears throat> alarming because you never quite know what someone's thinking and you could be walking with them you could be supporting them you never know what they're thinking but you know I do think the digging up of tweets no one's perfect people do change and do grow but the amount and the sheer number of people who have gone through this bashing dark-skinned women or black women phase is too scary. You know, that should have never been a trend. That should have never been okay for people to be so comfortable to publicly say that. And I think that's where the contention comes from. Um, a lot, quite a few people on, my, um, on the video were commenting saying, am I the only black person who doesn't care? Um, I have a lot, far more things to do. I love myself, so it doesn't matter. And I went back to most of them and said, this is not about of love and it's not about having time not having time or your focus or your priorities you know you can do more than one thing at the same time you can be both a self-conscious self-loving highly um, confident person and still be offended when somebody insults your very being and your very likeness that has nothing to do with self-love and what your priorities it's just called being a human being I think personally and people are trying to like guilt trip or is it gaslight I think it is or like mentally manipulate me and the people who are agree who basically agreed with my, my video s saying comments like that and I just feel like if you don't care why did you click on the video and if you clicked on the video and you commented clearly you care about something or you're just trying to be annoying and prove a point either way you know it's unnecessary but yeah um I'm interested to see if there are other tweets that will come out about other people not that I'm waiting and like hoping but I'll be interested to see what other people have said um but hopefully nothing else comes out but you know it's only the fifth month of 2018 we've still got a few more months to go seven months more to go so we'll never know what might come out in in the months to come but hopefully nothing does are going to put our phones back down so I can't vlog too much and then we're gonna go to the thermal bath and maybe the swimming pool so yeah so we'll see you guys back. after because we can't really vlog too much should we go? oh should I take my earrings off as well? yeah 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 okay I'll take those off oh it's so hot Hi! <laughs> <laughs> 